was a network error. Please try again. I don't want to try again. Give me my stream uh, back. Looks like you're... Yeah, you're back. There's back. Yeah. What was the question? Uh, are we playing with flanking rules? Sure. So she rolls a 10. I don't know what those are. Yeah, so it would be super cool if I had advantage. Basically because I'm behind means? the skeleton, yeah. Yeah. Yes? Any objections to playing with flanking rules? No. Uh, sure. I would actually cool. really love to do that. Let's let's try again. Hang on. Somebody somebody that's you know, friendly to the GM, is this a bad idea? <laughs> no, because it works for you too. Yeah, because like, if, if we it are works flanked, for us, it yeah, works for enemies. Flank on us too. Yeah. Okay, I'll take it. Uh, so that, <laughs> that means, I am very dead. That means you get advantage. So yeah, roll again. Which so I take back my cool better. description. Because uh, now it's it's a 25 to hit Mother. instead of an, a, a 10. Oh, okay. so we are doing flank. Cool. Roll, roll dam damage. Damage. And if I remember correctly, um, you have to have like a feat or a fighting ability or something to be able to make use of that. Is that true? Okay, so what now? For flanking rolls to get advantage? Uh, depends on the rule set you're using. Gotcha. We're using the 5e rule set. Yeah, but inside of 5e, there are separate rule sets. Well, <laughs> we'll figure it out later. I'm going to make a note, figure out flanking, but for now, we will do advantage. Yeah. That is the most common rule. That's Which probably means that I just did 10 slashing damage to Skeleton Lady. Nice. Got. Okay. Um. Okay. So you uh, you come in with that big great sword. Are you slashing down, or you said you're rushing her and trying to stab her through? I'm rushing her and trying to run her through. Okay. So you do run her through, and you actually catch on like a bit of meaty stuff, but it just sort of like starts sloughing off, and she she oh, coughs, oh, and she's like, oh, and she. Oh, and she's like clutching at the sword, and then she sort of like straightens up, and she's like, "Oh, that doesn't hurt, actually." Uh, weird. She's standing, but she's wobbly. Like something about her structure—you probably clipped her spine. Like she's not standing really well. So, it, like if you move your sword, she kind of like goes with it. Mm -hmm. Ooh, so I can puppeteer her. A little bit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You, you good? <laughs> I'm good. Drew, you're up. Uh, so the guy who just slashed at me is right next to me, right? Uh-huh. He looks terrified. Boy. He should. No, yeah, oh no. <laughs> um, that was actually a pretty substantial hit, and Bruce is actually bleeding pretty profusely. And he's gonna run his trunk through the blood and rub it along one of his tusks. Uh, and the runes will start lighting up, and his eyes will go bright red, and he would like to rage. Yes! Awesome. Yay! Awesome, awesome. Okay. Uh, do, do a thing. Uh, so, I would like to murder the dude in front of me. Sure. Roll me, roll me some, roll me some d20s. Mm, uh, that is unfortunate. Uh, that is a nine. That does not hit. What is this uh, look bonus like? action. Mm -hmm. Well, the first swing is just like trumpeting and rage. Not yeah, really there's, coordinated. There's like the full like elephant trumpet, like foot stomping mm -hmm. whole deal, and just like just sees red and is just swinging in a direction. Okay. Um, bonus action. I'll take the heavy ball at the end of the glaive and try and brain him with it. Go for it. Nice. Is this like a uh, Mbaku? Basically. Yeah, awesome. Uh, oh, that's better. That is a 24 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Cool. In the stream, there's a dog barking. What's the damage on that? Uh, that is nine points of damage. Oof. So, um, you actually cave in the side of a skull, and he drops to the ground, twitching. Ow! He's murdered. 
He did this to him. It's true. <laughs> he, he did this. Okay, so um, we're going to drop out of combat uh, because you've murdered everybody except the except skeleton lady. Except for the lady. skeleton lady. Um, Can we... Well, the, the, the sleeping guy? Oh, the sleeping guy's still alive. Yeah. And still sleeping. I mean, he's still sleeping. Still sleeping. Uh, he's a... We're dropping okay. out of combat. I said it out loud. Definitely We're doing it. We're dropping out of yeah, combat. Uh, yeah. Honestly, if the dude is still sleeping and Drew is still raging, he will go over and murder him. Okay. Oh, no. Everybody oh. hang out while Drew goes and murders the sleeping guy. <laughs> is anybody going to try and stop him? Uh, no, I'm just... Hang on. Okay, hang does, on. Does I have look, a question. Does he look like have, he's wearing have, anything fancy? I now? have a question. Uh, yeah. Does sleep affect friendlies? It does. So if yes. you try to go after me, aren't you just gonna fall asleep? No, because it's it's not a lingering area of effect. It's just a uh, one time bam, and then yeah. it's okay. Okay, go murder the other guy. Oh, yeah, I would, <laughs> I would guess we would try to stop him. Free to murder. What does that look like? Oh, oh. Oh. What does this look like? I'm nervous. Please <laughs> try and stop the raging elephant who's charging yeah, so, so, the sleeping guy. So Geth, just to just to like he he. He caves in the, the, the skull of this guy. He, right, he right, sees right. that the skeleton is, like, hanging off a sword, so he's like, whatever. And he swings around, because he has this, like, vague memory of this dude lying on the ground. And it's this huge, what, like, eight-foot-tall elephant man with huge tusks that have really weird-looking bright red runes on him. His eyes are glowing red, and he's, like, oh, no. screaming. I, I, so I'm not going to stand in between the two. Uh -huh. <laughs> Smart. <laughs> that, that's for the best. <laughs> but I want to make note that I would not. I would like to see less murder happening. Is, is this, Wait, did you say that? Uh, that no, no, no. I would, I, I would say, uh, I would say something like, uh, Druge, I don't think that they, that they are meaning to do this. He is not listening and is fully charging. I don't think he's sleeping. Oh, does the guy look like he's... <laughs> He's Andy. sleeping! We're friends! <laughs> I'm gonna step real far out of the way then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that splat. <laughs> Basically. Uh, I can roll for it, or we can just story that he gets murdered. Whichever. No, I wanna roll for it. Great. Um, cool. Isn't he like at super disadvantage? Actually, yeah. uh, I, I get advantage, yes. You get advantage, yeah. Okay, cool. What's this look and like? And if you hit, it's an automatic crit. Yeah, that is a uh, 18 to hit. Yep, that hits. Um, and I think it's a full, like, head down, tusks out charge. Mm -hmm. it... What was that? Uh, the tusks are already, like, bloody from, like, impaling the guy and then smearing his own blood on it. And Gross. now he's just going to, like, full on charge the dude. Gross. And... Yeah. What's the damage on that? Lots. Well, at least a couple of ribs. One. One damage. Uh, that is 21 points of damage. 21 points of damage. Isn't mm. that double I'm because sure. it's a crit or did you double No, that, that is with a crit. Okay, you cool. like a plant. Uh, so yeah, you do you like scoop him up with your tusks and like just impale him on them, or are you like yeah. stomping on him, or what? Like impale him on him and then throw them off, throw him off onto the rooftop, assuming there's a, a corpse there Got it. now. Yep, there's a corpse there now, hanging out on the rooftop. That's gonna smell terrible in a few days. Just put that over here. Eh, we're in the docks. It probably already smells pretty bad. <laughs> Let me make it over here. Cool. All right. So dropping out of combat. Um, so, um, that gentleman off. uh, so the skeleton standing in front of you, that is, uh, she's like pushing at the sword and she's like, come on, uh, why doesn't this hurt? I don't, what's, what's happening here? Like you murdered what? all of my friends. Like, ugh. and she's like trying to back off the the sword but her, her legs aren't really working but she like pushes herself off the sword and falls to the cobblestones and is like like why my legs aren't working like it's all clattering like there are bits of bone sticking out all over um is she falling apart like as we're watching no like rotten? no she's like stuff is sloughing off her and it has been every time she moves 
And so, like, most of her skeleton is 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 out, right? Like, her skull is completely uh, bare on the front, but there's, like, little wisps of hair around the back. And, like, one of her arms is a full, full skeleton, like, bone arm, and the other arm has, like, patches of meat on it. And, like, her, her rib cage, like, her core has bits, like, pat, like, a big chunks of meat there. But, like, uh, Marthala just ran her through in one, and, like, gobs of, like, gross flesh is stuck on her sword. And... But the skeleton I, I, just seems really confused. I don't. I don't mean to be rude, but um, why won't you die? And she's like, I don't. I don't know. Um, if someone would like to run, uh, to roll a de- uh, an intelligence check with Arcana or religion. I want to roll Arcana. I would. I would love to do a religion check. Okay, so we hang, hang on. <laughs> Settle down. Drew's would not. Drew's is. Slowly starting to calm down. Yeah, um, Quentin's not trained in either of those, so fine. So, uh, Brandel, you you come up. Where's my thing? Um, on one side, um, and I've got Brandy Buck on the other side, and um, and Marthala. So Marthala and Brandy, whatever, is gonna roll a. <laughs> I'll learn your name. I swear. Uh, gonna roll religion and. Don't worry, I'll change it again. Brandel. <laughs> Brandel will roll a re- uh, an Arcana check. What do we got? Um, Ten. Nine. Eighteen. Damn. Nine plus what? Three. So twelve. Okay. So um, you realize that she was raised as undead by a, a, a unique ritual. Um, as she's moving around, there are these wisps of, um, Brandel, you can see wisps of like, uh, like a, uh, a rotting green color, like, like, a, uh, Jesus, uh, like a residue coming off of her. And uh, Marthala and, and Brandy Beck, you can, there's something about like the smell is almost like a, like a sulfur and like droppings smell sort of mixed together. And you know that that comes from these, these certain kinds of otter rituals that are, people are sort of experimenting with these days. Um, And this is what's allowed her to keep her intellect and ability to speak. The end. Do we notice anything else about the, the people that were brutally murdered in the street? Were they, um, corpse like at all, or they were they were flesh and blood humans. No, they're flesh and blood. Like you can check them out, and they're they were they were super normal alive before you super murdered them. Alive. Not I, anymore. Hey, you. I uh, I'll work. I'll say as like these guys are uh, like kind of surrounding the skeleton and checking her out. Quentin will put his rapier away and kind of walk around him and start playing like a. It's got this little probably like leader sized battle drum on his hip uh and he'll just start like uh drumming out a lullaby walking towards druge just very intent uh and druge is like kind of whirling around and like looking for the next thing to charge at and he like looks at the skeleton and starts charging for a second and then the drum uh beat like starts to calm him down and he eventually settles and like starts taking a bunch of deep breaths Sun's Sounds getting going. real low. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and he'll eventually just like stand there and like lean on his glaive for a second and start like cleaning the blood off the tusks. When he's cleaning the blood off, is he like sort of fastidious about it? Like, he, or is he sort of resigned or? Uh, kind of resigned. Like, it's uh, it's clearly something that's happened before. Um, and it's, um, yeah, it's kind of more like muscle memory than it. And, um, Quentin, when did you notice that he was raging? Um, I mean, I, I saw him rage mid battle, but. And what makes you, what makes you do the drum? Like everything's calm and you need him to calm down or like, would you do that before? 
would you have tried to do that before he started murdering the other dude? Do you have to wait until he has no more victims, or, like, what's the... <laughs> I think it depends on the situation, and in this situation, uh, Quentin was kind of occupied with the skeleton mm -hmm. to make sure nothing else was going on with her, and when she was taken care of, then he kind of, since we're in the middle of a city, would have immediately tried to calm him down if, for, you know, out of character, like, <clears throat> Quentin would have tried to calm him down before he murdered a sleeping dude, but didn't really have the opportunity. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna walk over to Druge and just kind of slowly look at Quentin with the drum thing. And I'm just gonna walk over to him and uh, cast Cure Wounds. Um, Great. Oh, cut out there. You said Cure Wounds? Yep. Yeah, Cure Wounds. I forget the, the D's on that. So, 2D4 or 1D4? One one yeah, 1D8. Okay. Plus whatever. So it's a uh, 12. Dope. That's a good roll. Right. Isn't it plus two, those life cleric things? I have a plus. You have a plus. Uh, plus four. Plus four. Okay. Okay. Nice. Uh, yeah, and I think life cleric is getting an extra plus two on that for healing spells. Is that built into his character sheet, though? So that, like, it the should be. It'd be under four? features and traits, though. It wouldn't automatically show up. Oh. Yeah, that's not showing sure. Let's take it. a look at this. How about, how many hit points do you need? Well, you only took. Well, I mean, either way, I'm fine. So, but yeah, for future reference. I'm looking. I'm looking. And I'll just say something. The guy was asleep. Apologies. It, I maybe got a little. <laughs> got a I little don't think what? these people knew what they were doing. Maybe not. That one's skin is balling up. Vinny. Nope, you're cutting out a little bit. Oh, I was going to say, and that one's skin is falling off. Think it needs help? Not the kind of help I can give it. Well. Marthala realizing that she's looking at an beast is going to lift her arm like she's going to stab again. The skeleton puts its arms up, like, to, to block you, and and she's like, uh, you you win, like, like, don't, don't hurt me. Who did this to you, you unholy creature? I don't know what you mean. I just, I got sick about, I got really sick about a year ago. And well, you got, when... you got sick and died. It, it no, like... no. It's just, I can it's just, your bones. it's just allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Are you allergic to living? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just allergies. And as she's like protesting, it's just allergies. You, you notice the light. The her eyes are like. There's nothing in her eye sockets except like little balls of light. And they're they're sort of dimming and flickering, and you know her, she she puts her arms down and her legs stop moving and she's it's just allergy allergy and then there's nothing left. So she's gone now. Yep. Oh, she did. All right. Again. What was that? Was that interesting? Okay. Now that we signed up for undead. What are you guys gonna do? Well, I can't sleep a skeleton, so. <laughs> uh, so Quentin will kind of start, like, looking around and be like, "All right, uh, you guys grab that guy and kind of like start directing people to pull all the bandits together, all into one alley." What about probably the guy closest the to the... Uh, Ooh, we'll probably we'll pull them into that alley, <laughs> closest to Probably's? that guy. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really much for manual labor. I'm gonna. Uh, go yeah, I'm not gonna help. I'm just gonna like stare here. at the remains of the skeleton, like trying to figure, like, yeah. Stuff out. You should at least say a blessing over the body. Oh. And so, for anybody helping, like, I'll kind of yeah. direct them, and anybody who's not, I'm just ignoring you. Uh, I'll carry grab, shit. like, one under one arm, one under another, and then drag another with the trunk. 
Nice. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over and look over the dead bodies and say a little prayer, mumble, mumble some stuff, and then a little illusion, a lightning bolt. Marthala will carry whatever remains have yet to be picked up. Okay. <laughs> uh, why the lightning bolt? It just, it really, uh, cements that God's watch. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> okay. Um, does it come with sound? Or is it just a flash of lightning? Uh, minor illusion is one or the other, I believe. Sound or an image. Yep. So just the, just the lightning bolt. Okay, uh... Here. So Geth sees that. Anybody with a passive uh, perception of more than like 15 sees this lightning bolt? More than 15 or 15? 15 or above sees it. Okay. I guess it. I do not. I'm busy doing the toss. Anybody else not see oh. it? Uh, I'm blind. No, I'm just staring at the bones. Cool. Okay, so you drag the bones over there too. All right, you guys good? Yeah. I guess so. Okay. So we'll, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna break there for tonight. Great. Um. Yeah, you guys uh, survived. Well done. Hooray. Um, Hooray. Anything? Okay, so the uh, the what I like to do when we clean up is talk about like what you guys learned, you know, as characters. Um, this isn't really a mystery though, so I don't know how important that is. But if there's anything you want me to note down and include in a recap, let me know. Um, can we just very briefly? Could you describe what we saw was happening to the skeleton again? Like, she said she got sick, but it felt yeah, like there so was more to it. Yeah, so when you challenged her, she said, you know, I got sick about a year ago. And you're like, yeah, you're dead. And she's like, no, no, it's just allergies. And because you know that there was that, that ritual casting on her that raised her from the dead, you know that she probably <laughs> died a year ago when she was super sick. But yeah. she doesn't, normally when you raise undead, they don't have a personality. They don't have speech. You know, they don't, they're not aware. Mm -hmm. And so for her to be aware and retain her old personality and like all of that, like she's, like that was a very unique casting. Uh, and it, it makes sense that she doesn't realize that she was dead because if they did it right after she died, like she wouldn't have really started sloughing stuff off until about right. now. I mean, is it is it kind of safe to say that that was a more advanced casting of the spell? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. <clears throat> cool. Okay. So the last thing I want to do is um, uh, an RP point. And so what I'd love you guys to do is to call out any moments that you thought were really uh, good role-playing moments. And... Um, uh, toss out some suggestions and then we'll sort of vote on who gets an RP point and then um, whoever gets that has advantage uh, net uh, one advantage roll uh, on the next time we play uh, and if you don't use it by the end of the, the uh, session then you lose it so there'll be a new role, role play point every every game Us using the trunk to, to grab and gore somebody was pretty <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was pretty cool Give me a grabbing creative. Yeah, I like that. That was good. Mm -hmm. I don't know, running through skeletons and puppeteering them is kind of dope, too. Yep. <laughs> Anything else? Um, I will be remaining. Panic sleep spells are also fun. Yep. <laughs> sleep, sleep is always, always a good move. Um, I will be refraining from contributing to this because uh, I don't want to show favoritism or anything, but I, I think you guys did an excellent job. Yeah, um, that's pretty good. 
Any anything else for the for the pile before we vote? Um, um I, I think bartering for more gold is very in line with um, <laughs> yeah. with uh, the yes, character yes. That inventing the inventing another guy yeah. yeah, that was pretty good. <laughs> that was pretty good. Like, oh, you really that, wanted to roll deception. You know, no, was that didn't. on purpose or did you <laughs> did you just miscount and, and like play it? Uh, I played it off because I I just threw out the number seven. That was brilliant. Like that was really good. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that, that was. He goes real, to real another good. school. You don't know him. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even go here. Um, don't even go here. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say I liked the bartering, especially for the extra person, and then like the kind of echo of that was trying to like reason with the undead skeleton trying to mug us in the street. Who did that? That was that was also Brandon. Oh, okay. He was like, oh, the cops are coming. Oh, maybe you should just run away. And the skeleton was like, ha, I know better. But then still stayed out front. Yeah, I thought that was pretty good. Good. Okay. Any, anything else are we going to vote? Uh, oh, yeah, I think that's it. I mean, I don't know. Okay, so uh, we've got Drew's trunk uh, grabbing and goring someone. Marthala running a skeleton through and puppeteering them, uh, throwing out a, a panic sleep spell from Brandel, and uh, the, uh, the master bargainer over there uh, from Brandy Buck. So, uh, normally people raise their hands, but that's not going to work. Uh, you could type it in the session. I made a session chat channel for anyone if they lose their mic, for example. Uh, you could do... Uh, trunk grab. Grab and go. Sleep. Oh, and we can oh. react. Yeah, and, and you can react yeah. to whatever one you like. Uh, the gonna, I'm gonna. Skeleton. Short. Yeah, right. Skeleton for the fourth one. Skeleton. Is that all of it? Skeleton yep, that's, those are the four. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so react to those. I just shorten to make it quick, but. React to those, and then we'll know what we've got. With a ham. Or... What? Uh, I... Probably Anything whatever. you want, don't care. It's one, two reactions. Need four more. <laughs> three, four. Good. Five. Okay, well, I think that wins. Two, three, four, five. Need one more. I'm searching for the right emoji. <laughs> <laughs> we can fine tune this. I can set up some bots and stuff. Okay. So. Nice. Yeah. So it looks like we've got. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it looks like we've got that bargaining is the winner. Um. So. Uh, I'm not gonna write this down. Uh, or, sorry, I'm not gonna write it down for you, but I will include it in the the recap. Um. But it's it's up to you to remember that you have it during the next session. Um, uh. In D and D Beyond, there's an inspiration box. Of yeah. Right. This isn't quite the same thing though. Advantage. Oh, okay. Like the the RP point isn't a like a D10 inspiration. It's a. Well, inspiration on the character sheet is like advantage on a roll. Okay. Yeah. Versus bardic inspiration, which is like a d6 or a d8 or. D8. I don't care how you keep track of it, but um, justice, you have advantage on a roll uh, for attack or save um, the next the next session we have. Okay. Roger, Dodger. Thank okay. you. So I'm gonna end the stream, but nobody nobody leave me. I want to chat with you before we leave, but. Thank you so much for playing, and thank you so much for watching. Uh, you guys have been great, and uh, we'll see you, I think, in a week. So have a, good, have a good night, guys. Bye.